century ago in Brazil. A group of monks were chilling in their orange grove and stumbled upon one branch of one orange tree that was pumping out seed-free fruit. A miracle! Well, actually, no. What they'd really found was what we call a bud sport. That's what happens when the cells of a specific plant bud, like a branch or a flower, get spontaneously mutated. And depending on where the mutation happens, this can lead to a flower that's a different shape or color, or a tree branch that's loaded with fruit that has different characteristics or phenotypes from the rest of the plant. So on these monks' orange tree, a random bud sport had its genes scrambled in just the right way. And instead of going through the normal pollination thing, this mutant branch started producing fruit all on its own. No fertilization required. Scientists have a fancy name for this, Parthenocarpy, which literally means virgin fruit, which, when you think about it, is very appropriate for a seedless fruit found at a monastery. Though so the monks were like, this is delicious, we want more of this. But without seeds inside to grow a new plant from, how are you gonna do that? Grafting. And that's how you take a twig or scion from that seedless mutant branch and splice it onto some ordinary orange tree roots. The result is a Frankenstein's monster of an orange tree. And by doing this over and over, taking copies of copies and grafting them onto ordinary roots, the monks created more and more cloned trees.